Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We saw quite a bit of action over the Thanksgiving holiday, so let's get right to it. Gavin Graham was at Auburndale Speedway in his double zero pro truck for a little seat time before the trip to Five Flags Speedway on this Thursday to compete in the Snowball Derby Pro Truck event. Gavin qualified seventh, was running six before getting into some oil that got laid down from another competitor, and then he got hit from behind, sending him to the back for a restart. He also struggled with brake issues, but was able to bring home a top 10 in ninth place. Carter Whalen competed in the Huntsville Quarter Midget Association Turkey Gobbler over the weekend in three different classes, Heavy Honda, Heavy 160, and Mod World Formula. In Heavy Honda, Carter finished third in his heat race and was running as high as third in the A main before getting caught up in an incident, ending his day. In Heavy 160, he won his heat race and finished fifth in the A main. In Mod World Formula, Carter made his first ever A main start and brought home an eighth place finish against much more experienced field of cars. Great job, Carter, and we are excited to have you on board for the 2021 season. Let's now head to Tucson, Arizona and the fifth annual turkey shoot. To say it was a successful weekend for Team Race Face would be an understatement. We start with Bryce Bizanson, who set fast time in practice, back that up with putting his Jefferson Racing Friends of Jacqueline Super Late model on the pole. A special shout out to the series director. There were no inverts. On Saturday, Bryce started the A main from the front row and led all 50 laps, parking it in victory lane. On Sunday, Bryce again started P1 for the 125 lap feature. He led the first five laps, then settled into a tire management strategy, ran third before retaking the lead on lap 51. He stayed there until slipping back one position to second on lap 74, again trying to save his tires for a late race restart that never happened. Eventually, Bryce brought it home in second place. Check out this picture. On lap 90, a piece of concrete from the track went straight through his windshield, barely missing his head. Awesome weekend for the Sonomish Washington driver. Fastest in practice, set on the pole, won the 50 lap feature, and second in the 125 lap feature. Almost a clean sweep. Up next for Bryce, back to Tucson Speedway, for the Chili Willy, January 22nd through the 24th. We now switch to the first annual Junior Late Model Turkey Shoot, where four of our race face drivers competed. On Friday, race face drivers topped the speed charts in every practice. When qualifying got underway, nothing changed. Grant Thompson won the pole, Jake Bowman was fourth, Cassidy Hines fifth, and Haley Constance in eighth. We now move to the two qualifying heat races later in the day. Again, nothing changed. In heat number one, Grant Thompson led all 35 laps to take the checkered flag while Cassidy Hines finished third. In heat race number two, Jake Bowman led 33 of 35 laps and parked it in victory lane while Haley Constant had some mechanical issues that ended her day, but was credited with a fifth place finish. On Sunday, guess what? Nothing changed. In the A main, Grant and Jake both started on the front row where Jake took the lead early and held on for 53 laps before Grant made his move and led the final 21 laps for his second trip to victory lane with Jake finishing in second. Cassidy was running third with two laps to go when she got spun by another competitor, but she was still able to bring home a damaged car in eighth place. Haley Constance worked her way to six before mechanical issues ended her race five laps short of the finish. 
Great weekend for all the race face drivers. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. As we always say, it's all about performance because sometimes you can't control the results. All of you are professional both on and off the track and that will pay big dividends as you advance your careers. We have another big weekend coming up starting this Thursday at Five Flags Speedway in Pensacola, Florida. Gavin Graham and Grant Thompson will be competing in the pro trucks for Kurt Brett Motorsports on Thursday night. Grant will also run the Allen Turner Hyundai Snowflake Pro Late Model Race on Friday in the famous 112 Augie Grill entry. And Caden Honeycutt will take to the track on Sunday for the prestigious Snowball Derby in his number two Donnie Wilson Friends of Jackman Super Late Model. Caden will be carrying the name of Jackson Bates on the passenger side over the door. Jackson was Caden's Friends of Jackman adopted teammate and friend that lost his battle with pediatric cancer in October. Good luck drivers, stay safe and have fun. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from your favorite Race Face driver. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.